COVID cases rising once again in the tri-state area. So look at the numbers for New Jersey reported in the New York Times. 2,577 cases last week, up 56% from the daily average just two weeks ago. And deaths have skyrocketed as well. So here to talk about COVID with us, as well as the other elements of the tridemic, the flu, RSV, is New Jersey Health Commissioner Judith Persichelli. Thanks so much for being with us, Commissioner. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. So what is going on with COVID in New Jersey and how bad do you actually see it getting? We are once again seeing an increase in COVID as we did last year uh, around this time, you know, after the gatherings of Thanksgiving and people relaxing some of their mitigation activities like masking and staying home if they're sick and calling their physicians uh, to get treated. Uh, we are seeing an, an increase. Uh, most concerning is the increase in the elderly population and the deaths that we are seeing. Uh, right now, 80% of our deaths in New Jersey uh, are in individuals over 65 years of age. Hmm. So, so Commissioner, we're, enter we're just weeks away from Hanukkah Christmas, right? Should people be worried about holiday gatherings? You know, in the past, you had said, take a test before you ha have a holiday gathering, stay home or whatever it may be. What's your advice as we enter this season? I think the advice doesn't change, actually, uh, because we're seeing an increase in all of our respiratory illnesses. RSV is particularly hitting uh, our uh, children. Our pediatric census is up throughout the state. Uh, flu is raging, and yeah. our emergency rooms are uh, getting um, overburdened with individuals treating, uh, visiting for a treatment of flu. Um, know your own risk. Uh, take care of yourselves. Mask if you're indoors. We encourage that. Uh, certainly uh, stay home if you're ill. Uh, get tested. Uh, all of the symptoms of the respiratory viruses are very similar. Mm -hmm. So you won't know whether you have COVID, RSV, and flu unless you get tested. Right. Uh, if you get tested, then you know how to protect yourselves and more importantly, protect uh, your loved ones and the mm -hmm. people that you're gathering with. With cases with the flu, RSV, like you said, everything's spiking. Are, how are the New Jersey hospitals holding up? Uh, we monitor our hospital census uh, every day, particularly pediatrics. Uh, pediatrics, you know, is primarily an ambulatory service. So when you start seeing admissions in pediatrics increase, you need to be concerned about the staffed pediatric beds throughout uh, the state. So we get a report every uh, morning, uh, the hospitals report by midnight uh, the night before. We know uh, actually every uh, admission we know how many emergency room visits we've had for respiratory uh, illnesses, and we know the occupancy rates on the staffed pediatric beds. Right now, we're 80% occupied in general pediatrics, which is quite high. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and we are about 66, 70% occupied for pediatric intensive care uh, staff beds, which of course is another very high uh, level. So there's le so the numbers are high, like you said, right? And you're expecting them to go higher with the holiday season here. What, you know, in the past there was mask requirements. And so it's, it's advised to wear a mask, but I went to the mall the other day, nobody was wearing one. So what, what do you think moving forward? Could it come back that there may be a requirement? I don't think we'll have a mandate. I think people, we feel very strongly that people have to start taking responsibility for their own health and uh, the the well-being of not only themselves but the people around them and we uh, we encourage them to go on our our website look at the transmission levels throughout the state right now the transmission levels for flu are very very high and for covid are very very high mm. so we encourage you uh to mask uh in gatherings and indoors and most importantly if you start having symptoms uh get tested uh stay home uh, and take care of yourselves. You know, with so much time that's passed since the pandemic began, people are starting to forget about COVID vaccinations. How is New Jersey doing with that? Well, we, uh, you know, we have the bivalent uh, vaccine. It is uh, uh, very effective against the variants that are uh, uh, circulating right now, uh, which are Omicron variants, BA5, uh, BQ1, BQ1.1. Uh, but only 17.5% of the eligible individuals in New Jersey have received uh, that vaccine, that bivalent booster. And we certainly uh, urge all of you 
uh, to get it, particularly if you're over 65. Right now, 36% of individuals in New Jersey over 65 who are eligible have received the bivalent booster. That should be 70%. So we need to do better. Yeah. Uh, that COVID and flu are vaccine preventable diseases. Mm -hmm. Are you seeing, you know, we, we had a couple of doctors on talking about RSV and how kids are getting it mainly because they weren't in schools to be exposed to germs, so on and so forth. Are you, expe are you seeing the flu increase in adults because people weren't around other adults or they were masked, or is it because flu vaccinations are actually down? I think it's important to note that in 2021, when we did have mandated mitigation activities like masking, yep. we had no flu. We had absolutely no flu. Uh, that has never before happened. Uh, so we, we're seeing flu, it's high, and it started a lot earlier uh, than we expected, and so did RSV. So I think we have to assume that our immune systems uh, are maybe a little bit more weakened than uh, we would hope them to be, or what we have experienced in prior years, because of all the mitigation activities. All right. Well, New Jersey State Health Commissioner Judith Persichelli, thanks again for being with us this morning. Always appreciate your insight. Thank you so much.